Well, welcome back. Today we have a digital night vision from WildGarder. In fact, this is their Aller 1 model. I'm going to do a quick unboxing and give you my initial thoughts after seeing this unit for the first time. Then we're not going to stay in here. We're going to take it outdoors and put it to work. Not only can digital night vision aid you in seeing in complete darkness, they can also be used in the daytime. You can take photos or videos of what you're seeing or just use them as a viewing binocular. Now I have tested many different units in the past. In fact, I'll put a link down in the description to a playlist of all those previous units. This one offers something that I have never seen in the other units, and that is an optical zoom. So let's dig into the box, see what we get so that we can put it to work. So this is from WildGarder, and it's their Aller 1. Let's see some additional specs here, if you wanna pause that. You can. Inside the box, we get a nice uh, camo, uh, semi-hard case. We open up the case. Here is our digital night vision. We'll take a closer look at that in just a second. But we also get a user's manual. Neck strap. USB card reader cleaning cloth, and a USB cord. So let's take a closer look at the unit itself. As you can see here, it's clearly marked uh, all your menu options. Uh, you can change the mode and of course your power button. Uh, here is your viewing screen, it has a protective uh, coating on there. Make sure you remember to take that off. Uh, you have a place to put your neck strap if you so choose. It does have a quarter 20 mount here in the bottom. If we look at the front of the unit, uh, here is your IR illuminator, and over here is the lens in which uh, you can view through or the camera will operate. Uh, it does have uh, zoom there, so it has near and far, and of course your uh, focus is right there. The IR illuminator also has adjustment. Uh, it has a near and far. I think that'll either focus or give you a flood type beam uh, on it. The camera does come with a micro SD card. It's a 32 gig and of course has your USB ports here. On the bottom of the unit, on both sides here, it is powered by AA batteries. Looks like uh, it would accept four per side, so it's gonna take eight of them total to power it up. Uh, so you have to supply your own AA batteries. So next I'm gonna peel off the protective coating on all these lenses put in eight AA batteries. We're gonna put this thing to work. I'm gonna be showing you sample photos and videos that I take with this unit. You can see what type of quality you can expect if you would buy this, but we're also gonna see how well and how far you can see in complete darkness. Lots of testing right ahead. I'm gonna put in some batteries. To power the unit on, you simply press and hold the power button for approximately three seconds. Next, you can click the menu. That brings up all the different settings that are available. You can choose your language and your image and video resolution. You can turn sound on or off, set the date, the brightness of the display, and many other settings. Next, you can click the mode button. That switches it from photo to video mode. You can also digitally zoom this unit by pressing and holding the zoom button. The IR can be turned on and off by clicking the IR button. It has three different IR settings. You can take a photo or a video by pressing the shot button. Uh, you can press it again to turn off the video. Now this unit can be used handheld, but because it has no image stabilization, I highly recommend using it on a tripod. So next, let's look at some video at different distances, both daytime and nighttime. This first video is of a cell tower that is five miles away. This is 20X optical zoom. Next is the same tower, only at nighttime. As you can see, I'm adjusting the focus to try and get a focus picture. Not only can you see the cell tower, uh, down below it, you can also see the car. That's a road that leads up to the cell tower. Next footage 
is one mile away. So again, this is 20x optical zoom. This is daylight footage of one mile away. The unit can also be used for closer things. Uh, this bird was approximately 30 yards away from me. The last video for the daytime footage was this tree stand that was 250 yards away. Here's that same tree stand, but only at nighttime. This is on 20x zoom at almost 200 yards away. Next is some cattle in a meadow. They are 50 yards away. Now here's some video of cattle that are 350 yards away. You can see a dramatic difference. Obviously they aren't near as clear or near as close. The IR, I switched th between three different settings. This is on the brightest setting, 20X zoom, 350 yards away. Here's an example of adjusting the IR illuminator. It, you can focus the beam or make it more of a flood. Again, these cattle are 350 yards away and I'm focusing the IR beam and then putting it back to flood. Here's an example of deer that are 350 yards away or approximately 350 yards away. Here's what the moon looks like on 20X power. This house that's up on the hill is approximately three quarters of a mile away. The car down below it is about a half a mile away. This video shows if you do not have 20 power optical zoom on and you only have one X and you focus the IR beam, you can actually pinpoint it uh, down to a very small area. Any man-made objects like a golf cart or this trailer, uh, of course the reflective tape really shows up And here's an interesting example of what the IR light on a security camera looks like at night. This unit can also be used indoors. And here's some example video shot inside my studio. Well, it's now time for my final thoughts. I'm gonna give you the pros and cons as I see it after actually using this unit. Let's start off with the pros. The first thing I noticed and I really like about this unit, the identification on all the navigation, the menu, and mode buttons. A lot of units I've used previously only had symbols or they were not clearly marked. These are easily identified and that's a positive in my opinion. The unit also operated exactly as it was advertised. In the sample footage I showed you, if an item is reflective or have lights on it, you can see for miles with this unit in complete darkness. At 350 yards, things like cows and the deer that I showed you, you can make out what they are, but again, they're not gonna be great crystal clear footage, uh, but the unit, again, can see in complete darkness. This unit's capable of taking 1080p video. That's what you saw in those sample videos that I already showed you. I thought it was acceptable. It's not crystal clear or award-winning footage by any means, but you can easily see what you're looking at, both daytime and nighttime. I like the fact that this unit also offers optical zoom. No other digital night vision units that I've used in the past have optical zoom. They only had digital zoom. This unit offers both optical and digital. Keep in mind any digital zooming I find gets extremely pixelated and I personally steer away from that. So this unit allows you to optically zoom up to 20X power. I like that and that function worked well. Now are there any negatives? Well there's two of them that come to mind. One is it takes eight AA batteries. I personally would prefer if it had a built-in lithium battery that I could simply recharge by plugging it into a USB port. Uh, but again, this unit takes eight AA batteries. I actually ran rechargeable lithium AA batteries and it worked well. I've recorded over an hour straight at nighttime with those batteries and still had plenty of battery power left. But for me personally, I wish it had a rechargeable built-in battery uh, that I don't have to use AA batteries. 
The last thing I'll mention is something I noticed that I'm going to put in the negative column, and that is the focus wheel. Now it has a focus wheel directly behind the optical zoom, and when I would focus it, it had some play in this focus ring. And ultimately, that made it slower or harder to find focus when you're taking video at daytime or nighttime. So again, not a huge deal, not a deal breaker, but something I noticed while running this, when you're taking photos or videos and you're trying to get that focus just right, uh, you're definitely gonna have to play around with it just a little bit. So those were my final thoughts. Overall, a good unit, it worked as advertised. I'll be placing a link down in the description to this unit. Maybe you want more information. Maybe you want to purchase one for yourself. If you have any comments or questions, maybe something that I didn't cover and you're curious about, please put them down in the comment section. I have more digital night vision reviews coming in the near future, so stay tuned for that if you are interested in these type of units. But until then, I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.